morning you guys I have a fun little project for you guys to do and you guys can do it with me and I'm gonna tell you what we need we need um, some uh, jars or cups would work uh, we need five of those around the same size and we also need a pitcher of water any water and we also need blue food coloring uh, we need blue, blue food coloring to make our water blue and we're gonna talk about different levels of the ocean today. It's called ocean zones. Ocean zones are the different levels of the ocean which starts from the lightest part of the ocean to the down to the deepest, deepest, deepest part of the ocean where there are no sunlight. So the different zones depend on how much sunlight um, how much sunlight the water gets. So at the very, very top, it's the brightest where the sunlight hits the most. It's called the sunlight zone. And the sunlight zone is where it gets the most sun and it's you can see there. And then the further down the ocean you go, the further down you go, there's less and less sunlight and it gets darker and darker. And at the very bottom is the very dark where there's no sunlight at all and only special animals that can see in the dark or have adapted to live in the dark live down there. And uh, we'll talk about those special animals because we don't know a lot about the animals down there. It's too far down for humans to go. In order to get all the way down to the ocean, you need to be in a submarine or they have special um, submarines with cameras with no one in it with cameras and they record the life down there. So we know very little about that area, but we know a lot about the areas on top where people can go because the further down you go, there's less and less oxygen in the waters. Um, and less sunlight and it's very very cold because there's no sunlight there. So it's hard for people to get down there All right, you ready to do our fun little project? So I'm gonna start with my first jar. We're gonna fill this up with water There you go, that's filled up. Actually, we'll just fill up all our jars with water And our last one, let's see we have enough water Barely, we get a little bit more water, I'll be right back. All right, we're back. So we're gonna start with the sunlight zone. I'm gonna move my other jars out of the way. We have our very top layer of the ocean is called the sunlight zone. And then remember, there is a lot of sunlight coming into this area. So we, don't, we do not need a lot of food coloring. I have my food coloring here and some water to dilute it. Um, so we just need, oh, because it's it's very very light up here you can um, it's very light so we do not need a lot of blue just need a little bit that's the sunlight zone so the sunlight zone we're going to talk about the animals that live in the sunlight zone the sunlight zone is remember the brightest part of the ocean because there's so much sunlight coming down from it it's the very top of the ocean um, and they are the animals that if you go diving in shallow water, you'll see them. So if you go to Hawaii, like Wesley, Wesley goes to Hawaii a lot. Um, guess what? If you go diving there, you might see one of these swimming around. You know what that is? That's a sea turtle. Wesley loves sea turtles. Sea turtles, they go swimming in the shallow water. Guess what else goes swimming in the shallow water? Stingray. Stingrays goes swimming in the shallow water. Um, and how about this? What's this? A seahorse. A seahorse go in the shallow water too. Um, and these guys, jellyfish, they sometimes go down deeper, but these guys like to hang out up here too. Oh, and if you go into the ocean, you probably see one of these swimming around and hopping out of the water are the dolphins. Dolphins go swimming <clears throat> in the shallow water. And how about this guy? A clownfish, Nemo, and a lot, this is called an angel fish. These are, um, this one is a tropical fish and they like to swim in the bright parts of the water where it's nice and warm. So a lot of small fishes live in, in the tops of the ocean. I'm gonna put them all in there. They're gonna go swimming. That's the sunlight zone. Next we have the Twilight zone. The twilight zone is right under the sunlight zone. It's a little bit darker, so we need a little bit more food coloring in there. So if you have, you're doing this project with me, let's put some food coloring in our second jar. It needs to be a little bit darker than our first jar. So 
So let's compare that. So it seems about right. <clears throat> Mix that together. So it's a little bit darker than our second zone. Um, this is called the twilight zone. It's a little bit darker because there's a little bit less sunlight going through there. And animals that live in this zone, um, you guys know these animals too. There's a whale. Whales, they can go between the zones. These, all these animals that I'm talking about, they can go between different zones. They don't have to stay in there, but they prefer to stay there. But they can come up too, like whales, humpback whales, they come up sometimes. And you see them, if you, some people go whale watching, you can see these guys swimming. That's a humpback whale. They're, they like the, they like a uh, lower. Let's see if he fits, he's a big guy. They like to go lower, but they sometimes go up too. And how about, how about this guy? Da, 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 da. The shark. Sharks, they go a little bit deeper. They're in the twilight zone. Or they can go down a little deeper too. But they they hang out here. And there are also fishes, different types of fish that, that hang out in this um, part so that sharks are going to eat them. Um, and how about that? Do you know what that is? That's a giant squid. Giant squids hang out in this area too. Ooh, there's a lot of big animals in this area. Let's see if they all fit in my jar. And this guy, crabs. Crabs are special because they can go on land, they can go in the shallow water, and they can go down a little bit deeper too. But they go between the zones and they can go on land. They can, you can see them on beaches sometimes. Those are cool. Those, that's a special type of animal that can travel between the zones. They can go on top of the water. It can go back on land. So my sunlight zone, my and my twilight zone. And next, my next jar, next is the midnight zone. The midnight zone is a little bit darker than the twilight zone. So we're gonna go from light to dark to darker. So let's see how much food coloring we need to put in here to make it darker. One, two, three, four, and it's a little bit darker. Five, maybe one more drop, six, seven, all right, there it is. It's a little bit darker. This is called the midnight zone, sunlight zone, twilight zone, midnight zone. And the midnight zone, I have some animals here that live in the midnight zone. There is that guy. That's a starfish. Starfish, they hang out here on a rock. And here's Mr. Octopus. They hang out in the midnight zone. And this guy. Do you guys know what that guy is? That's an electric eel. It's like the snakes of the ocean. They slither around, they swim around, and they give an electric shock. They hang out in the midnight zone too. Don't touch those guys, they're gonna shock you. That's the midnight zone. Next zone is the abyss. Right. The abyss is a darker zone. They, this zone is pretty, pretty dark. Let's move my guy over. So we're gonna have to put a lot of food coloring in there. Let's see. I put like eight drops in there. We might need a lot in here. All right. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We might need a little bit more. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Maybe we need one more. 14, 15, oh, it's getting pretty full. 15 blue drops to make that dark of a color. That is the abyss. It's a little even darker because there's even less sunlight up here and animals that live here in this dark area, it's usually pretty dark, are sea spiders. Sea spiders hang out in the dark parts of the ocean and this guy, that's a cool looking fish. 
he hangs out in a dark area. This guy is called the rat tail fish. I just learned that. He maybe because he kind of looks like a rat. It's called the rat tail fish. He lives in the dark parts of the ocean. And this guy who is very special, he goes between the abyss and the trenches, what we'll talk about next, is the angler fish. He's very, very cool because he lives in such a dark area. Look, he has a little light on top of his head that he can turn on. It's called bioluminescence. Remember that word from the fireflies? Um, fishes have bioluminescence too, especially those who live in the dark parts of the ocean. So this angler fish can, can make himself glow and which is called bioluminescence. He hangs out between this area, the abyss, and the darker area, which we'll talk about, are they're called the trenches. And they are very, very dark. There's very little sunlight or no sunlight at all. So these guys, <clears throat> they can bioluminesce. They can, they can make, them, make light to help them see in the dark. So they have adapted to learn to know how to live in the dark. So he hangs out here, and I'll put him in our dark maybe i'll put him i'll put him here see if he fits he's a big fish here we go and the last part of our ocean is very very dark it has no sunlight it's so dark that it's so hard to see and special uh we need special equipment to see the animals that go down to see the animals down there so this is a very dark area so we'll have to we'll go straight from the bottle we'll put we'll start with one drop let's see how dark it gets stir it up oh we need way more than one drop to make it that dark let's put another drop of blue food coloring in there maybe two drops because it's so deep and dark down here stir it all up Ooh, it's getting dark i think maybe we need another drop Let's see how dark we can make this blue. It's so dark that it might be almost black. This area is called the trenches and it's a very, very, very dark area. And animals that live here, they need to learn how to adapt and live in the dark. Because all these animals, they need to be able to see like the shark um, and the whale and crabs and the tropical fish, they need to be able to see. If they live all the way down here, they can't see. So the animals that live here have adapted to learn how to live in the dark and see in the dark because um, uh, it's so dark, there's no sunlight. So they're special fish. We don't know about a lot about the animals that live down here because it's um, there's no sunlight, it's very cold, and it's very, very deep. So we need special, special equipment to, um, to learn about the animals that live down there. But one of them is a sea cucumber. We know these guys, these guys don't move around very much, so they don't really need to see. They hang out at the bottom of the ocean and they wait for food to come to them. Then they're spiky to protect them from other animals that eat them. That's a sea cucumber. Um, this guy, he's kind of cool. I, he, he is called the gulper eel. I think he can light up soon. He has very, very sharp teeth. He has very sharp teeth that um, he uses to eat other animals down there. And this guy, he's a cool fish. I just learned about him. This guy with the three long things coming down is called a tripod fish. He's called a tripod fish because he has three. One, two, three. Three of these um, kind of like tails. They, um, three or tri, tripod fish. They kind of looks like a tripod that you put a camera on. Um, that's called a tripod fish and he lives down here. So we don't know a lot about the animals that live down here, but we do know some. And because look, it's so dark, you can barely see the animals in there. Um, that's the twilight zone. And the twilight zone and the abyss are both very, very dark. The abyss is a little bit brighter, but it's still very dark. Can't really see the animals in there. Um, and then when you're coming up into the midnight zone, See if you can see my animals swimming in the midnight zone. There's the eel, and there's the octopus, and the starfish that are in the midnight zone. And a little bit lighter is the squid, the whale, the shark. They live in the twilight zone. This part of the ocean is called the sunlight zone. Here they are. All the animals that we, all the 
animals that we like to talk about and learn about, a lot of them live in the sunlight zone. All right, here they are. Here's all my different zones. So the sunlight zone, the twilight zone, the midnight zone, the abyss, and the deep dark trenches. These guys, these are the different zones in the ocean. They make up all um, they make up the living area for all these different animals and different animals live in different zones. So if you have some cups and some blue food coloring at home, do this project. You don't need to have all the animals. It's, um, it's to show you that the lightest part is where the most sunlight is. And it, as the further down you get in the ocean, the darker it is. So let's see if you guys can make some of these too. Um, you just have to go from very, very little food coloring to more and more and more and more food coloring to make it darker. All right, guys. And the, so I'll talk to you next time.